Hello everybody, welcome to the fourth and the final tutorial on VLOOKUP function. If you haven't watched the previous three videos on VLOOKUP, I have given the link above. I suggest you to watch the video serially to gain a better insight on VLOOKUP. If you have watched all three videos, well then you have gained a robust knowledge on VLOOKUP. I believe now you can solve any problems related to VLOOKUP function. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about an important real-time application of VLOOKUP. We will create a dynamic bar chart using VLOOKUP. As you can see, I have a custom made drop down list here. And as I change the name from the drop down, the related data from the right hand side also change and so does the bar chart. So let's make this tutorial short and sweet and let's get right into it. I have a table here which presents a data on net income details of interns in civil designs. I have their name, uh, the expenses, the revenue, the net income in billion which I can only wish to happen. Nevertheless, we want to create a dynamic bar chart from all these details. First of all, let's just copy these headings from here. Copy and we are going to paste it somewhere nearer. When you select all this data and we can adjust the column automatically. Let's just increase its size. Now let's create a drop down list here. To create a drop down list, we need to go to the data, data validation, and in the allow option, we have to allow list. And in the source data, we have to select all these names. Hit enter. Okay. Now we have created a drop down list for the names here. Let's just select a name, let's set the div. Now we are going to use the VLOOKUP function here. To use VLOOKUP function, we type VLOOKUP. The lookup value is the name itself. The table array is, of course, whole of this table. Column index number for expenses is, is 2. And range lookup function, we just type false. So to make this absolute, we have to hit FO, FO, and FO. Now we can just copy this data from here to here. Now we can just change the column index number to get the correct data. This is 3, this is 4. Now as you can see, when we are changing our drop-down list, then automatically the data are also varying. Now we can select all these data. We can go to the insert option and in the insert we have recommended charts. We can use this chart for now. Okay. Now we have a bar chart which demonstrates the expenses, the revenue and the net income of our intern Queen Maeve. Now whenever we are changing this drop down list then we can see automatically our bar chart also changes. So now even if we change our data from the table array then let's say this is 25 then we can see the corresponding change in the bar data. So in this way we can create a dynamic bar chart using VLOOKUP function. Now we have successfully completed all the courses related to VLOOKUP. In the next video, we will come up with a new topic on Excel. So, see you in the next video.